All right, so here's another optimization problem. Uh, I have a bunch of them, so uh, check them out. You'll, you can find them in the my derivatives playlist on my channel. All right, so it says a farmer with 700 feet of fencing wants to enclose a rectangular area and then divide it into four pins with fencing parallel to one side of the rectangle. What is the largest possible total area of the four pins? All right, so let's draw a picture of it. All right, so here we have a rectangular area. All right, and it's going to be divided into four pins. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four. And they may not look equal, but they're supposed to be equal. All right, so we'll label this Y, and then we'll label this side here. X. All right. So let's write down the information they give us and then let's write down the function that we want to, in this case, maximize because we want to know what is the largest possible total area of the four pins. All right. So what they tell us is that we have 700 feet of, 700 feet of fencing. So that would mean that 750 Okay, or let's do it like this. That would mean that 2x plus 5y is equal to 750. See, this side here is x. The length from there to there, that's x. And this length is y. There's another y, a y, and a y. So x plus x, that gives us the 2x, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus the 5y equals 750. Now, let's write down what we want to uh, maximize. We want to maximize the area. Well, the area of a rectangle is length times width, or in this case, x times y. All right, so we need to take the derivative of this thing. Well, we want to get it all in terms of one variable, so we'll get it all in terms of x. So I'm going to solve this for y, so I get 5y equals negative 2x plus 750. And so y is negative 2 fifths x plus 150. So that's y. So I'm going to take this and plug it in here for y. So a is equal to x times y, which is negative 2 fifths x plus 150. And so the area is negative 2 fifths x squared plus 150 x. All right. Now, let's take the derivative. So the derivative is here. That's negative 4 fifths x plus 150. Set that equal to 0. So I get negative 4 fifths x plus 150 equals 0. Okay. So that's going to give me 150 equals negative 4 fifths x. And so if I multiply everything by negative 5 fourths, that's going to give me x is equal to 187.5. All right, so that's x. Now, and, and we can we can show that that is a minimum. Okay, there's 187.5, and I can plug in. Well, we can actually plug in x equals zero and maybe x equal I don't know 200. That might be the easiest to do. But let's see if I plug zero into here. That's positive, and I think I said we can show that it's a minimum. We can show that it's a maximum. All right, so if we plug 0 into here, that gives me a positive. And if I plug 200 into the first derivative, that's going to actually give me a negative. Uh, so that's decreasing, and there's your maximum. All right, so they want to know what is the largest possible total area of the four pins. 
So, I mean, I can go ahead and I can get why, I don't know. I guess that might be the easiest thing to do or what I could do is to get the largest area. I know what X is, so I could actually take X and just plug it back into here or I can plug it into here, my area formula. Okay, so let's do that. So the area is, and I'm going to plug the 187.5 into here. So that's negative 2 fifths times 187, whoop, times 187.5 squared plus 150 times 187.5. And when we plug that into our calculator, you get 14,062. Point five, and that's square feet. And so that would be the maximum area possible of all four pins total. Okay, and that's the combining them. All right, so I hope that helped. Check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.